and load. Alright, let's get the mod Houston up into a firing position. We want everyone on board here. Oh, they actually, they actually do have rockets. Right, so let's see, we've lost a couple of helicopters. Flamethrowers are working pretty well against the infantry that's trying to take cover here. Those look like anti-aircraft missiles, so let's get our helicopters to back off a bit. Uh, I think they're already dead, though. Blast. Tracked rapiers. We know they're bad recon units. Oh, great. Centurion average. Those are terrible tanks. They're more, they're more artillery units than tanks, to be honest. Okay. This fighting seems to have subsided on the t north side, so let's pull that force in. Let's see. Let's recon unit, we can push up maybe a bit. You can bring up some forces. Oh, the Centurion Alvarez are still trying to take cover in the area. Let's move these guys up. We have full support from the T-55. They're already lo running low on MG ammo. Could be a worry. Looks like they've got a lot of infantry in the woods. Let's get our recon units to move up the SPW. We want it up here. With an accompanying tank force. Everyone else swarm into the woods. I want every last British unit eradicated from the area. Cub, actually, I want you to reposition now. Just because these guys are pushing in from Uppsala. You to move into these woods, not these woods because they're on fire. Don't really want a command vehicle to be in the middle of a forest fire. That doesn't exactly seem very safe. I think I'm mad, but yeah. I'm going to withdraw the SBWs to a second line so that if any units get around, so just so they're not immediately targeted. See, like that, they fire their missile. And it all comes to night. Right, so the initial offensive seems to have worked quite well. So yeah, all the SBWs are t being targeted by these Milani EGM units. Breaking their sight lines, it keeps them alive for a bit longer. Not exactly what the use of these SBWs are, I mean they only have a basic machine gun. But still, every unit helps. Right, so the initial offensive has gone remarkably well. We've taken only about 160, and I think that was mostly helicopters that were spawned a bit too close to their rapiers. Aside from that, the operation seems to have gone off without a hitch. I'm gonna split these guys up, but I keep forgetting I've got two different types of infantry that can't share, apparently they have even each their own. Right, let's take the last, let's take this tank force and move it up here. Air quarter secured. Meanwhile, these tanks are going to push south here. And right, so I think we're going to reposition our recon helicopter over here, just to give our SBWs a chance to spot. Actually, that's a bad idea. They they have AA infantry, so reconning with a helicopter is probably not the best idea I've ever had. So these guys have launched up. Let's get these guys to move to the north. So now that the initial attack's gone well, the secondary plan is to set up for a good defensive position for the next battle. This will mean holding on to Orobo, ideally capturing Boris, but if we can spawn infantry, oh dear. Okay, the screen is freaked out a bit, and it's all okay. Yeah, so as I was saying, if we capture Boris, we can spawn infantry in all these buildings which hampers any attack from Uppsala and obviously if we hold Fedor we can create this blanket of infantry again. Artillery rounds are coming in, looks like they're targeting the command vehicle. Probably smoke, yep. Yeah, I love that smoke. Right, so that's the, pretty much the last objective for today's battle, to push into Fedor, push into Boris, capture them safely. Let's have a look. Speed up user commands are quite cheap actually. They're not a bad unit here, only 110 points, and they have armor on all sides. Speed's quite abysmal, to be fair. There goes 50 points of something. What do we got here? Oh, more. Uh, you're being targeted. You might want to get out of there. You're probably going to get die though. Yep. Right, so let's deploy. Right, 
that's got these guys turn FOB. As soon as they're very low on machine gun ammo. Jeez, they really hate the SBWs. To be honest, I don't really care if I lose the SBWs because obviously they were brought alongside the infantry, so while the infantry survive, the SBWs will be given a respawn. Right, so let's see a little attack being launched here. Now that everyone's been killed, yeah, the SBWs can come out and knock out the green jacket infantry. Now the rover Milan's are safely out of the way. Actually, they can probably get engaged, the rover Milan's themselves, now they're within range. Right they're in a position to actually fire. Let's finish off the green jackets. Yeah, there we go, right. Let's get you back to a safe distance. Right. So now we have to cover a section of here safely enough to call in a command vehicle and secure Boris. More transports coming in, truck destroyed, loud blow pipes seem to follow. Okay. Probably buy a command tank for Boris just because it's a more Wild West kind of sector. You see, they've got a lot of units here and I can't identify them. I'm sure, I will soon. Those are Rover Milans. So there's a lot more threats here for a uh, command vehicle. Nothing too big. I mean, an AGKM unit here and there. They're mostly too busy firing at SBWs, it looks like. To be of much concern. Still, safety first. Yeah. Centurion Avra tanks again. No, not really. Oh dear. Don't. Get out of there. TU 55s are valuable tanks in urban fights. I lost, I lost one. Damn. Missiles going to the moon. Reposition, try and take out these rover mounds. I don't really want these guys because, as far as I can see, the only British tank I saw was the Avra, which has no armor piercing power, it's just an assault gun. As I would like to dem oh dear, they've got strikers. Okay, plan of attack ATKM helicopter. Nope, I'll just ambush them with the Mott Houston. We got an RPG 7, which should do the job of blowing these guys apart very nicely. Also, any other defenses that they have, might, like Milan, Strikers, or um, Rapiers, won't be any good against them. Right. It's actually a good ambush position here. I'm not going to bring out the reverse, the re reserve Houston. They're not exactly in an ideal position for uh, this kind of work. Of course, the Avaras do have the advantage of being a British tank, which means they're incredibly armoured. And uh, so that's very annoying to kill. Looks like they're wasting all their RPGs on stuff that isn't what I want to kill. This is a pity, but these guys are actually running incredibly low on rockets, and they're, st and they're still targetable. Uh, we'll have to bring in more mods used on this. While well, the strikers there, I can't really risk driving tanks into it. Where are you firing your missiles at? Oh, the cub. Don't be firing your missiles at the cub. SBW's got in the way. Give him something more appealing to shoot at. Actually, this it's not exactly more appealing. It's just something that the dumb computer will attack instead of the cub. I don't really want to lose it. Okay, you're in within range of it. The other TO-55. Okay, the Montsusen can handle these rovers decently enough. And... That is a target. Actually, you know what? Because hind back, there's too many of these AD game units driving around for me to be comfortable driving a command tank into the area. These guys aren't targetable. But I think I had a battalion of T 55s somewhere that would love to take out an Avra. 
Lynx I2. We're going to have to get in some anti aircraft support. Flock Estrellas. You hide in the woods. I don't want you to see that. Oh dear, it's about to fire its cannon. I'm going to have to tell him to evac as soon as it's about to fire. Actually, I could probably just tell him to unload now. These guys seem to be really panicked. Okay, ambush quickly. Really? Uh, the Avra can be taken out by a machine gun? That is uh, honestly surprising. Okay, let's see. Air, it costs about 75, so we're not going to get that anytime soon. Get into range of RB keys. Let rip. That scimitar is a powerful. It's a rod and cannon. Okay, try and knock it out. It could be tricky. Oh, damn. These T-55s are too in the open to be taken on a striker. Come on. One more. One RPG would do it. Nah, they've been too badly stunned. Right, let's get the tank up. The anti-aircraft missiles active. Ah, oh, two. Well, the Cubs handle it just fine. They're actually engaged in the striker. Well, let's get them into an accurate enough position. Let's try and charge some SBWs at them. Try and draw their fire. Let's make them think twice. Back off. It's going to take them a while to line up another shot. Let's just charge them with SBWs and be done with it. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't. Okay, it did. Strikers did a little sneaky drive up and hit my command vehicle. There's an important lesson. Always place your command vehicles somewhere where you know they're going to have to... They'll, they'll have to go through your first line of defense before it kills it. I did not. I put it somewhere where they could have line of sighted. They must have shot through the car park. That's irritating, to say the least. Oh well, blood for blood. Still not exactly an ideal outcome. Um, wait a sec, I did not tell you to drive there. I told you to drive into the forest, if I remember correctly. Ah, oh, well. You drove in area, and now you're being killed by this stupid lynx. You're out of rockets, so you can't do anything. Trial is set up. I just want this match to be done before I take any more unnecessary losses. I think it's break line side of it, I don't know. Wasn't paying enough attention to the southern fight. Actually, technically that's the northern fight because I'm looking at it the wrong way. Yes. Okay, Strellas, pop the toe. Before you get popped in turn. There you go. Nice work. You know, this is actually really disorientating. I'm just gonna stick to this side. Even though I'm going to say we're fighting in the north when we're actually fighting in the south and on and on and on. But it just, I guess the map looks better like this, I think. I didn't seem to have any anti-aircraft defenses in that area. I wonder if the MI-8 can fire a few rocket pods into these Milans and Strikers. But they're chucking a good deal of their ATKM. When I was playing as Britain in the last campaign, I didn't exactly remember being having too many of these to spare. So maybe we can... Force them to deplete their reserves, and, la and then in later fights we can charge attacks. Although, as always, it's the computer. So, when does it ever listen to the rules? What are you shooting at now? You're attacking our Stralis. Okay. See, I've seen, there's so much stuff here that you would think would break the line of sight of a unit, but the enemy's ATKMs can still seem to slip one through on your on your guys. Oh well, another attack coming from here. The SBW should be safe. Come on, RPG, just kill it. Kill it quickly, kill it efficiently, and it could drive around and endanger. No, it can't, because it's dead. Still, I'm gonna deploy two helicopters here to give the north a bit of a defense. Because when you think about it, these guys don't have any RPGs, so if a 
vehicle get pa gets past them, I could drive down this road, and then it's a straight shot to my most critical unit. Striker is targeting this SBW. It doesn't really matter, but I still don't exactly like my units being shot to bits when they don't have to be. Especially as it gives them veterancy that they can use in later fights. I should really buy some logistics trucks. I don't usually bother with logistics because the matches are too short. But when something's shot up like this. That's an FOBs usually last completely, so you can just be reliant on them. They're still being targeted. You might want to go get out of the way. Nope. Your funeral. Even though you're mindlessly following my orders, so it's in a way it's my fault. And that's scimitar. These 55s could. Yeah, I've just realized that both of them are weak. I thought that's some bogus meant. One of them was weak. Actually, they're both on one bar of health. What are you firing at? I can't tell. You moved out of the way before I could see. Looks like he's targeting the speed W's again. Oh well, rocket pods up. Let's get some more uh, Mott Houston on the scene. Only three minutes left, so it's not exactly like much can happen. I guess when I keep my guys alive. And we just lost another T-55. Thought it was in the forest, so it would be safe. Apparently it's not. The British do like their EGM units, don't they? And, oh, you're within minimal range. Another one bites the dust, and the striker might. Okay, the infantry can't take it out. Oh, no. Okay, it's dead. Let's get this. His MI8 tunes. It's doing work, I mean, I have to admit it. It's only a very basic helicopter, but its rocket pods are doing the damage on these Milans. Supplies are here. Means I can resupply the T-55s now and give the mods Houston some RPEs so if something drives point blank, they can just kill it immediately. More Milan's been driven in. I'm really surprised they have this many to call on. Let's unload the rest of the uh, mods Houston, even the ones that weren't anywhere near their destination, because you know. You know what, let's get an Air Force. Let's get a couple of these guys and start fire positioning this area here. Because I know they're driving across it because it's the bridge. There's only one way they can actually be attacking me. So, you know. Oh dear, they've brought in a sea. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What's going on here? Okay, our helicopter was shot down. Sea hires. I think those are just AG cams, aren't they? No, these are the AA versions. I think it's T-55 could take out, could handle a scimitar. What are you shooting at? Oh, more SBWs. I would hate, oh, what was that? There was a unit right next to my command vehicle. I think it was just a, uh, one of their jets. Still, I don't want to take any chances with a command vehicle. Especially one that's been deployed in Orobo. That's, that's the one sector I have to keep at the end of this. Well, I don't have to technically. I mean, I, I can just spawn a command vehicle here, know that the enemy won't be able to spawn anything here, and then drive it in. But still, I want, you know, you want to have one of the three point sectors held. And. Oh, those, these helicopters have been killed. I'm guessing that was what the get was doing earlier, just flying around. Rover Milan. Shouldn't be too much of a threat. MG range, SBWs could sh and should be able to handle it. Oh, it's dead. Still. MGs and all that. What is this kid doing? It's flying in and then immediately being evacuated. Oh, it's the AA fire. It's been flown in. It sees the AA shots being fired and then tries to evacuate, but guess gets shot down anyway because the Cubs are a good anti aircraft system. They are guided so they're vulnerable to sea ads, but. Generally, I don't really see them as much of a problem when facing the AI. Eh, you never know, they may be a major threat. Gotta regroup these guys, so they're, bo they're both in cover. 
No, I can't. I forgot about that. Eh, game's over, so it doesn't matter. So let's see. Draw, but I still own the AI in that battle, not gonna lie. And let's see. Draw, draw. It's lost initiative, so it's really low on initiative. If I'm, if the Marines are up to it, I might be able to do a Blitzkrieg attack. Still, second fight of the day. Swedish forces. Hmm. Haven't really meddled with them that much. Yeah, let's have a look at that. Well, but we'll have to deal with that in the next battle. But until next time, this has been Omegent. Thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.